Food session three of the Creative Aging class led by Henry Lee. This class is uh, sponsored uh, by many uh, generous donors. Thank you very much. And uh, we are recording this class, live streaming it on YouTube and sharing the link on YouTube afterwards. So um, because of that, all participants who registered um, and joined this program will be recorded. Your image will be seen if you leave your camera on. If you ask a question, your voice will be heard and your name may be visible. If you do not want to be recorded or heard, uh, please turn off your video screen. Thank you very much. And here is Henry for our class. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming to join us again at uh, this uh, um, class uh, for creative uh, aging. Uh, I, I, did you get all the, the handouts? Because uh, I noticed that we sent out to the wood only this time. So if you have difficulty to open it, if you are a Mac user, you might, um, let me give you a link, OK? So you can download it from uh, my Dropbox folder. Give you it right now. So in the chat room, you get a link to all the references. If you cannot open the handout, um, the, wood, uh, the text part of the handout uh, is, is already in the body of the email. Uh, please read that uh, introduction to the cultural uh, significant, significant uh, symbolism of uh, peach uh, longevity. Peach uh, basically is a, a birthday gift for the parents uh, or grandparents uh, when they reach uh, six young, sixty years young. Okay, um, so if we if uh, uh, for younger people uh, we. we uh, do something else. Um, now also, you know, uh, there's a food uh, made uh, into a shape like a peach uh, when celebrating on a, a big birthday of like 60, 70, 80, um, in, in 100. Um, so here is a picture on my uh, book, uh, in this book by Guo Xiu Yi, again, uh, the uh, uh, lady student of Xi uh, Bai Shi. Xi uh, Bai Shi has inscribed many of the, her paintings in this book. Uh, this, book this painting particularly uh, was uh, uh, painted for Chairman Mao, Mao Zedong, in uh, 1953 when he celebrated uh, his uh, birthday on December 26th, it's an easy date to remember. Um, and when he was uh, still alive, uh, everybody in China would eat noodles as well on that day. I still remember that. Um, and uh, you know, noodle is a symbol of uh, longevity because the, the, na the long uh, line. Uh, so, um, you can you can see another uh, picture uh, here is uh, sent it as a birthday gift to this lady, uh, Premier Zhou Enlai's uh, wife, uh, Deng Yingchao. Um, yeah, this is the author, the artist who is work, working on the painting. Uh, she, she's actually standing. Um, um, okay, so. Let's do it. <coughs> the paper I'm going to use is uh, um, raw or unsized Schwann paper. It's a very absorbent. Uh, it might be scary for new, uh, beginners, and even for advanced students. Uh, uh, sometimes we, uh, we want to control the, the smearing. And uh, <coughs> we have a special uh, Traditionally, we have a special tip. Uh, I learned from uh, uh, a trick I learned from, from my, my, my teacher. teacher. 
uh, in the spring time, yeah, yeah. maybe yeah. earlier, yeah. you can yeah. get uh, uh, a, a peach set from the tree trunk. It looks like a jerry, you know. Just, uh, and, uh, it's a actually it's a fruit. You can get these days from uh, our food stores. They sell it uh, like dried uh, uh, peach set. Uh, but we have a product called uh, Tarjoff and the powder, uh, peach set powder. And uh, let me show you how to how I use it. I got a little bit left here because uh, in, in powder, so to So you, you just put a little bit uh, in a, in a uh, saucer. Uh, you can uh, use a a bottle, you know, maybe a lot larger one than this one. It, you, so you can uh, usually, it turns sticky, so you need to defeat it. Uh, let me just get a little bit of uh, water. Let me just use this spray. And then you can use your fingertip to grind it, because I got a line here. Uh, or you can just use a brush, you know, to, to to uh, uh, melt it. Uh, it doesn't matter if I just leave it not there and I just use it as a as a color. So just let you know, I got a peach set in my mold to begin with. That controls the smear. And you can you can I can show you the difference. Okay, let's say if we we don't use it first. But the color we're going to use are the, the red. If, if you have left over from my last classes uh, for blossom, uh, for uh, plum blossom or cherry, uh, uh, you can use those, which are the carmine. Uh, I I think uh, the the uh, opaque color not good is aluminum uh, or cinnamon is not good. Uh, Henry? Yes. Hi, sorry. Yes, there's one question. It says, um, can Arabic be can Arabic gum be used as well? Uh, I think so, but the difference between I think it's uh, it's okay. As an Arabic, uh, Arabic gum is okay. As a as a binding, uh, Arabic gum is uh, uh, water cell, which is good. It's the same that for you know for the same reason as peace have. Instead of uh, gel, because the fish tap is uh, water cellular, uh, even in our uh, I think probably more, more waterproof than Arabic, gum and Arabic. Uh, but you can use that so just uh, for, uh, for maintaining the, the value when you dilute, uh, when you dilute the, the cups. So you need to uh, pick two. To get the color out. Uh, the the uh, advantage of this is also, uh, you know, when you recycle ink, especially overnight ink, or uh, or dried watercolor, I always add a little bit uh, glue to it to resegregate it to uh, because it might lose the binding, you know, like. Uh, it will, it will tend to, to be more grindy, right? Then you can resegregate it to the peach tap glue, uh, or gunpowder, yeah, or jelly glue, water. Okay, um, and then we also need uh, yellow. So basically, yellow and uh, red, uh, karma. And we use this little bit of for essence. Uh, yeah, I'll add a little bit of this one to my head. Okay, so I, I should have kept them in uh, plastic. Uh, and here's another tip to prevent it from uh, drying. You know, I, I, I will use a uh, plastic bag, just like the uh, super store one. I have put a little, uh, a little, what, you know, uh, just a um, tissue or, or paper towel with water in it. Um, and this will not only keep it from, um, from dry up, 
it will sometimes soak the, the dried up uh, paint. You know, it, it's really a magic. So you just seal them in the in the plastic and for maybe a, a week. And when you open it, this dried ink will become soft. Believe it or not, um, it's, it's all possible. Yeah. And you can use this little white if you don't have uh, if you don't have the uh, uh, glue. You can use a little white to dilute with uh, yellow. Uh, that's uh, you know, one last resort to use the dried up ink. If you cannot really get it out, you can open from the bottom and just. But once you do that, there's no way to uh, keep it. Uh, keep it wet anymore. So you, you have to put it in a, in a little dish or, or you know a little cup, a little uh, something to keep it. But don't throw it away. Even the, um, the pens is dry, you can always, um, you can always resituate it with a piece of sap or just water to um, to use it, just like uh, the pen, you know, watercolor. So I got a little yellow there. I hope I uh, 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 enough. Um, so I got yellow, I got the red. So I'm very, uh, so first of all, I, I did, if I just use water, with the yellow, you know, you, it's going to rain, right? Um, so I would use a little bit, um, glue to dilute it further and then you know, keep keep the um, the volume of the the, uh, the color okay so I got a light yellow and you can you can touch the voice is not the recording let me see. Maybe I speak too much. Sometimes I need to give <laughs> the network a little time to, to transfer my voice. Um, hopefully, it will recover myself. Okay. Um, s let me let me just show you the basic um, basics of doing the peach, okay? Um, so I'm using the absorbent paper, and uh, let me illustrate. Uh, we don't worry about composition yet, okay? So the peach has this, uh, oops, the peach has two, two, um, a split so to speak. <coughs> Let me get some, some water. <coughs> um, actually, I got peaches here. I'll be back. Mm -hmm. from the supermarket yesterday. It's called the uh, white uh, jade, white peach, I think. Um, as you can see, the, the size of this one is it's very big compared to a smaller one of the same kind. Uh, and this one has the, the obvious uh, um, line. It, it's it's a heart shape, like you know, like a heart shape. So it has a pointed uh, um, end. In painting, we exaggerate that that 
that characteristic, which is very different than other fruit. And you might compare with uh, lemon, but lemon is more centered. Peach is off-center. So that's a, a, uh, that's a very um, important uh, characteristic. Don't divide the, the peach uh, ha you know, uh, by half, because one side is higher than the other, and also you know, the, the tip, one side is uh, higher than... Uh, maybe we, we should put this uh, split uh, in the uh, one quarter or something like that, so not in the middle, right? And you, don't, you don't want to put it in the middle. Um, and look at the, the bottom, it has this kind of shape, uh, like a heart. Um, another thing is that uh, all the peaches has this, uh, this mark, like uh, the branch, right um, in, 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 in bed, uh, in, the in the branch. Because they don't have a, a long stem, like um, uh, cherry. Um, you know, some artists make the peach with a, like an apple stem. That's deadly wrong. Uh, it, the peach doesn't come with a long stem. They just attached uh, with a short stem uh, directly uh, to the to the tree. And some peach has other colors when they're uh, young. It's green and yellow and then uh, red. And then when they ma mature, they it got like a rouge color. Some some uh, some burn <laughs> what called the sunspot. Uh, so that's uh, very beautiful. You know, uh, in painting we we use more yellow. Um, <laughs> the color actually, I w when I describe it, is peach, the peach color. You got it. Uh, it's different than. Um, other pink, it's uh, just uh, yellow and the uh, pink blend. Okay, uh, so this is the shape, right? So when we do that uh, in uh, painting without the outline, you, s you still have to keep that in mind, right? So we do one half and then the other half with a uh, uh, split say, in the middle. And we'll use a large brush, I'll use the super wash. Yeah, if you have this kind of uh, the large soft brush, okay, you can also use this kind of uh, what's called wrist brush. And this is the one we uh, provided in, in the very first uh, uh, class, right? Uh, and this one, and some we call it uh, uh, goat hair brush. Okay, let me just use uh, this one, it would be good. So soak the brush first. Oh, actually, I, I used this one already. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So this is a uh, combination brush. You can also use that. But it's a little too st stiff, maybe, because I want to uh, show that so, you know, with less bristles, marks, or traces, more um, like uh, water <laughs> wash. Yeah. To, to show the freshness. So I, I reloaded, uh, I, I loaded this light in, li light color with a, a little um, substance. Like a, you can use a little white. If you don't have glue, you can use a gamma radia or uh, gelatin or peach sap. With, you know, peach sap, peach sap glue, peach sap glue powder you can get from our website. It's made for this purpose. And then I um, touch a little carmine. You can also use the scallop, S scallop, uh, the, the prime uh, red. It's uh, what is that? number three, 302 can also just see this one should be still wet. Some color tend to dry first than the other. So I, I use a little bit of scones. It's 
it's pretty um, hot here. So <laughs> notice my my um, uh, stroke. Uh, there's a gradation, right? But in the beginning, we want to, uh, to indicate the, the tip. So you hold the brush straight to paint that triangular shape like that. Just uh, take advantage of the, the tip. And then you start to uh, lower. I should load a little more. Let me, if I miss that one, I can, I can do it again with a little higher so, and with a little darker. And this time I want to make sure it's pointed. So just like that, right? And then I uh, hold the brush at the slant position to continue. Why I, I kind of rub it a little bit. And then um, about um, more than half. Okay, definitely more than half. So that's a split. Then I reload the brush with a little dark and then do it this time just uh, this side all right you see that you don't you don't need to um, extend the dark all the way to the bottom just leave the you can use the bottom of the brush if needed to uh, to finish that shape and then um, you can add leaves to Contrast to fill out the uh, the the um, to define to cut in the shape if you need. And you can just leave it to like a white unpainted paper and use leaf to complete. So do do not complete do not complete with a, uh, an outline like this. You know. Although some artists may do that. Okay. Um, a different style, but this is more direct style. Like a watercolor style, All right? So the painting you see on this corner is basically done like this. Um, you can also adopt another uh, two-step method, which is uh, uh, more uh, Master Chibashi use. Uh, he he used dark rouge and uh, uh, carmine mix maybe. Uh, or a little bit scarlet. It's it's a, uh, basically a dark. So you can you can do the dark first, and then you add yellow to it. So when you paint two peaches, you vary them in direction. Um, so one will be the host, and one the supporting uh, guest. So that you can also vary the sh the the shape. You know, I mean direction. So this could point sideways. Let's let's do a, uh, do another one here. Different style. So in in this case, I um, I just use one red. You know, that's um, supposedly just just the um, the dark to start with, and then continue. Oh, I got zero. That's okay. Just like that, and then. You know, you can you can leave some white, and then you come back maybe with a different brush, with yellow and uh, you know, a little bit orange, like yellow and uh, white mix, uh, or glue, and uh, yellow mix. Uh, it could add a tiny bit, little bit of uh, red to warm it up a little bit. So it's a little bit orange, and then you fill in that. You don't have to use the same stroke. You can just use, you know, like a, a smaller stroke. But even leave a little white in between, it, it, it helps. Uh, it, it's more interesting. Uh, we don't really depict the lighting, the highlight. But uh, if you're good at that, <laughs> you, you, you can certainly uh, do something like that. Let me show you. Uh, let's start from a medium. Um, medium tone or value medium value in in british english they call the darkness or lightness value in this country we call it uh oh they call it a tone we call it a value right right so we use mid tone or mid value to start with 
this, this time I I change direction to the to the other side to uh, the right the the right so you can start from the tip and uh, oops I missed the tip so I have to add it on top and you can I try to create some some highlight, some some effect like uh, yeah, you can leave some white for the highlight, but it's kind of difficult. Not we, yeah, we normally we don't uh, we don't do that in in uh, Chinese painting. But if you are good at uh, creating shading or shadow, you can try. You know, to paint in watercolor and on rice paper is always. A challenge, um, and then you can add dark or lighter in, uh, tones or value after it dries um, a little bit. S if I do it now, it's going to to bleed. Right? Okay, so it's all about water control, and the the glue added may help a little bit. But if you add too much, it will become stiff. So don't over to do that. Oh, another thing is to to use a, a piece of uh, 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 tissue will be better. I, I got uh, uh, cotton paper towel. It's very soft and with uh, not much uh, texture, and you can use that as a blotting. Oops! See, you you, you have to avoid the, the stains on the on this on the paper. But this kind of spot. It's good if you if it happens on the uh, on the body of the, the fruit because in the in the end uh, after you blot it or dry a little bit uh, you can you can add those uh, you see a lot of uh, sun spots like little dots can you see it yeah that's that's a characteristic of peach yeah, you can. You can exaggerate that. You, can, you don't have to put a tiny, tiny ones. Just uh, some uh, um, dark spots. Yeah. Just uh, not too, not too dark. You know, just a little darker. Just like that, it creates some more interest. Okay. Now let's talk about uh, um, other parts of the. Uh, peach, the leaves. Usually they don't come you know, with leaves <laughs> in the in the market. But uh, when we do painting, uh, it will add some color in, uh, contrast to that. Uh, we don't do the sand again. Okay, okay? Uh, not the little stem. The the branch you could do that. So if you have a peach uh, on a tree, you know picture you you want to do the leaves first and then the, uh, the fruit and then uh, the branch okay that's uh, uh, it's a different okay I'll use a blend uh, or a combination brush for the uh, leaves you basically you don't need to use too much green um, but if you want, you can. You you can. We have to always mix the green with yellow. I use the traditional yellow chunk and uh, indigo. Okay, let me see. I got some yellow left. You can you also mix with other um, greens like uh, mineral green, mineral green, which is uh, opaque, opaque green, and uh, indigo. It's uh, transparent. Okay. Um, in Chinese painting, we always use light ink for the leaves. So you can, you can uh, just use light gray, okay. So 
if we do the leaves first. Uh, uh, Henry? Yes. Someone says, I have a red star. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right. Swan? Yeah. Right. Um, Semi-sized swan and double-sized swan. What is the closest to unsized? Uh, Semi-sized or doubles? What is yeah. semi-sized and double-sized? What is the closest to unsized? There, there's no double-sized. Never, I never heard that. Too. Oh wait, semi-sized and yeah, double swan. Uh, what double double, double shuan. shuan? Double shuan means yeah, double unsized. Shuan. Double double is the thickness. Okay. Double is the double shuan is unsized. I I just consulted as expert, a specialist in paper making meal. We just uh, uh, have a new supplier in China I spoke to yesterday. I particularly raised this question whether we can have the double shuan sized answer is definitely no. There's no such thing in the market because when you make the size shuan, the, su the paper tends a little bit crispy if it's double, you cannot bend it or roll it. So never they, they can size a double shun. Is that clear? Double shun is always unsized. Semi-sized is possible uh, for a uh, single shun uh, completely sized. So semi-sized is okay, okay? So either, either penny, uh, I will use double shun in for this class because double shun tends to bleed less because the thickness it um, takes more pens so give you more time you buy more time with double shun you understand? It, just imagine if you use a tissue to paint it's, it runs faster if you use a paper towel to paint that's double shun it, 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 you can go slower it doesn't mean it's not um, bleed right? It just and uh, slow. Um, I still have audio problem with the audience on YouTube. I don't know what's wrong. So it, it's just a network issue, I guess. So if you have pro problem, you can always come in directly to the Zoom, right? You can still join us on Zoom. Yeah. There's no problem with Zoom audience, right? We have a complaint. Um, no, everything seems to be running smooth. Okay, thank you. Um, so if you paint uh, the peach, let me let me give you an example with the leaves in front of the um, the fruit. Uh, there's one here. Let me see. Oh, okay. This is my teacher's uh, teaching sample. Uh, this is my early work. Uh, okay, let me see. This is Chibash's work. It's too many. I tried to do a branch one. Uh, this one, it's okay. Let me see if we have, have a similar one. This one is like cut branch. Okay, now. That one is, 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 is better. So if we do this one, uh, we will do the leaves first. And that leaf has some yellow in it. Uh, but you don't have to. You, you can just... Uh, I got the uh, blue. Let me just add a little yellow. If you use all three colors together, it will turn muddy. Right? So you don't want to use... Henry? Yeah. Sorry. We have another question. Can I use Wenzo paper? Yes, you can use Wenzo. It's unsized. Any paper you have is fine. Um, you can use Japanese paper also for the practice. So only for works, it, uh, this, the paper that master uses is uh, unsized single shot. Okay, that that's the. But it's not um, uh, a must. You can use uh, other alternatives. So. When you paint uh, leaves, you think in group of uh, three or four or five, uh, just like uh, bamboo leaves. 
In bamboo leaves, we have like a like a like one and and, and a two like this, and then uh, the three. Right? Uh, you, that's exactly like bamboo. Um, when we teach bamboo leaf, we will say you know don't paint the bamboo leaf like a peach leaves. Here we will say don't make the peach leaf too sharp, look like a bamboo leaf. Uh, or too stiff, too straight. You can have a little curvy, you know. I mean, so if you are not good at bamboo, you're good in this class, definitely. <laughs> no problem, right? But still, the principle of composition is the same. So you need to um, make some crossing like this uh, and make some uh, grouping. Uh, but in peach sap, I mean, not peach, peach leaf, uh, you can make leaves like a curve up. Uh, it, it will not happen you know, it curve like that. It will not happen with uh, with bamboo, right? And you can you can also because the leaves come from a, a stem, uh, a stem like a something like that. Okay, and then uh, let me just I have to adapt to the the. Uh, vertical paper so I make the the leaves a little lower okay let's just do another group of uh, three maybe and, uh, just one and then you can add little ones you know All right. That's the 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 leaves. Uh, no, no, no. We, we can complete this uh, uh, conversation to save paper and save time. So uh, let's do the, the fruit now. <coughs> so I'm using I'm back to the softer brush um, and I reload the brush with the yellow. You can have a little bit uh, green if you like because it's on the tree, so we don't have to paint it uh, uh, completely mature, right? So we can add a little, a little blue. Why not? Just uh, make a, a yellowish uh, green. Yeah, you can add a little uh, white if you like to, or a little opaque uh, mineral green, like this kind of color, would be fine. Uh, but very light, very light. Um, the green peach. Um, there's another artist actually who does that very well. You can do the peach and then add uh, pink to it. But for longevity peach, we always make it uh, exaggerated, very vibrant red because it's uh, you know celebrating someone's uh, big birthday, very festival kind of uh, feel. Uh, so we we always exaggerate the the red. So let's do that. Uh, we can add a little orange color first. So half of my brush is yellow, half uh, yellow green, so a little bit orange. Uh, actually, I got vermilion, so I think. Maybe, yeah. And then a little bit uh, scarlet, and then some rouge. So my color goes from yellow to uh, red to kind of uh, azure crimson, kind of. You can use that also. Crimson, yeah, and then some rouge can be added. So uh, I'll make one peach uh, bigger and in the front. And so let's just do one right here. So I just do like that. And you can um, you can use dot also, just uh, big dots, you know, like that instead of. Uh, Drawing, you can you can just uh, and leave some white between the leaf and the uh, the the red because otherwise it will start to bleed. So leave a little white, and after it dries, you can come back with the yellow, or you can just leave it as a, um, as a void. We call it. Don't have to fill in all the blank. Use the, use the bottom of the brush 
to get light. So you you start like this, and you can go back with a little rouge, um, which is a very deep, very dark, to even to make this part even darker, and then use the remaining of that to dot the sun, sun, uh, sun spot. And notice the rhythm, you know, the, the, the rhythm of uh, uh, those dots. The color will turn um, much lighter, but it will come back when, when you want, after you mount it. So you can blot it to stop bleeding. Right. Okay, I'll, I'll do another one. I just add a little water and then uh, do, do, uh, do another one either on top or on the, let me see. Maybe you can put, uh, maybe I'll just put it downward. So I, I, cha I change the directions to be creative. Yeah, You don't have to copy everything. And copy the method and the, the idea, uh, the, the approach. So you can, if I make two, so, so some overlapping is needed. Maybe I just, um, add it here. I try to avoid parallel. So you can make this smaller. As I, as I mentioned earlier, so the one, ha one half is about one third, uh, two thirds, right? two thirds, and then the other half it's one third. Just a suggestion of that. Um, yeah, just have to decide which one is in the front, which one is in the back. We think about that. If you're not sure, just uh, leave it out. And I will use a, a small, stiff brush to do the veins. Uh, before that, you, you, you can um, do the stem, just in, in black ink. And the, the, the entrance is always outside the frame. So, uh, so that indicates the it's a part of a tree. If you just, you know, if you start from ins inside of the paper, it's a cut branch. It's already been cut. It's on the table, just like like li li this peach is, right? So um, if you paint something on the tree, we we have to paint it from the outside. Okay. Oops, too light. But that's good. And uh, let's do a branch, goes down. Okay, some leftover ink. And let it dry because I want to contrast with this juicy uh, fruit. I use dry brush, split brush, that's okay, to create this kind of uh, uh, thirsty stroke that contrast uh, with the juicy fruit, right? And also you can add some dark. Okay, I'll just make it up for that. And uh, here you can make uh, the branch. Um, yeah, just the, uh, whoops, that kind of stick into the <laughs> This fruit could be. Doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, don't violate some uh, physical laws or something. And you can make this into a leaf so that covers that later. And You know, before I, I touch the paper, I kind of imagine my, my, my movement, my gesture. Uh, and then when 
when I do it, uh, just like a a cell uh, they don't they, they memorize the routine, but you know when you do it, you cannot uh, hesitate. Okay, so this could go up. Go back up. Right. And crossing is good. Uh, you can you can make up more leaves if you want. So the leaf of the peach blossom is much softer than bamboo, but uh, it has the same de uh, design ideas, like a grouping, uh, like writing the character uh, of a bamboo. And uh, now we use a stiff brush with a dry and the dark ink. Try to add the, the veins. You have to uh, fill it. If it's uh, too wet, you can uh, use a hair dryer to dry a little bit or uh, blot it. And then um, this, this brush is dry, especially the bottom has no water. Okay, and then you draw a center vein, which don't have to be in the center. Okay, like uh, here, I would uh, uh, kind of redefine it. You can uh, see if I draw the center line from there, it, that it comes from nowhere. So it should be here, right? So I draw the center line right there. And I can use, I can combine this stroke like that. So you can divide, redefine uh, the previous uh, color base. Okay. And uh, then the secondary veins. In Chibashi style, he uh, not only draw the second line, secondary uh, line, uh, the veins, but also. Uh, use that to define the edge of uh, the leaves. See how I do. It. So it, it, uh, if I don't do this, the real life uh, leaf may look like this. Some artists do this. Most students do this. That's not the chip I should do. Okay. And this is probably b botanically uh, true. The leaf, uh, the veins look like this. What chip I should, master chip I should, chip I should do is, is this. Uh, so here's the center, right? And then he used this line to kind of define the shape of the that leaf. So this not only as a vein, but also served as an outline for the leaf. Instead of okay, do you see the difference? Okay. And this is the most difficult part for all the blossom, all the flowers, the paintings, the leaf veins, and you need to, if you learn today doing this, uh, you can do peony, you can do, um, yeah, peony, basically the same. Um, and chrysanthemum, yeah, just a rounder. I notice the, the distant, distance and the angle. So this, this part is a little closer and shorter, and uh, the, it becomes a little looser, right? uh, relatively even after the first group of the secondary main. So this, this is really close, it's narrow, and then uh, it's about the same. Look at the, uh, the sample picture on the corner, you see that very clearly. So the contrast must be stronger. And uh, it's, it's, it's stronger than mine. 
on the original. Um, so if the base looks too fat, you can make them into two. Um, you can make this yellow into a leaf if you want. So it's, there's all, all kinds of things you can re redefine with the uh, lines. Okay. And you don't have to use lines. Sometimes it's omitted to be when, when, you know, like some, uh, uh, some stroke already very calligraphic, calligraphic. You don't have to add lines in some kind, some case. But if it feels incomplete, you can uh, always use line to redefine or define it. Okay. Um, there is an interesting turn I, I try to mimic. This curve like uh, goes this way, right? So there are not uh, the center vein doesn't have to be in the center, and you can go outside of the stroke. Yeah, overlapping is a must, uh, and just. Very suggestive idea, complete with absence of a stroke. Make this part clear. As I said, this could be just you know sometimes uh, if you cannot solve a problem, you know like a who's in front, uh, just leave it. You know, and usually it will become more interesting with uh, ambiguity. And you can, you can, you, you can, you know, when the, the, the base color is not enough, it doesn't matter, you can use, uh, uh, you can draw without color, say what I did. You, you, can, you can draw this without the color. So a little bit of color is okay. You don't have to fill in all the blanks. You can leave some white here and there. You can go outside the, the greens. And most uh, students um, are afraid of doing that. You can basically concentrate on the ink work. And when you do the ink work, you know, don't, have, don't have to honor the, uh, the green part. Just kind of arbitrary. Okay. The center of it is always on the closer to one side, not in the center, right? And uh, if two is not good enough, you can make as if they're overlapping here or something. You can you can always go back to add a little if you need. Um, all right, and that's about it. Uh, let me see our sign here. We got some more ink in this. Okay, I'll put it my signature here, Fang. Um, Fang means mimic. Oh, actually, yeah, you can write, uh, like, a, you know, if it's gift uh, for someone, you can write a greeting, uh, longevity, something like that. Um, beige, white, stone, stone, large, means uh, old name. That's his uh, pen name. Oh, we, can, we can also call him Fashion Lorry. Yeah. Old Master. And then I went to the name of Ox and then my name. Let's 
two. Use two seals. Actually, a bigger one actually is better because the size of the peach is so big. Mm. This is a good one. This is a Xiaohui painting seal. Okay. And you can still use the uh, uh, name seal. Uh, this one doesn't have my last name, it says Xiaohui, my first name, painting seal. And I can use uh, another one on uh, top, it says uh, Li. Um, it should be aligned, I think. We'll just put it here. Okay. That completes uh, my first uh, demo. And I'll do a still life with basket maybe. Oh, we, if we have time, we also need to learn another plant, the evergreen or the separate lily. Um, yeah, we should have enough time. So we'll do it. Any any questions you can put in the in the chat. Thank you for comments on this brushwork. I yeah, I tried to learn from the master. Uh, excellent uh, brush stroke is very important. Always important in Chinese painting. So uh, when we do a basket, let me let me show you. Uh, yeah, something like this, something like this. Um, this one, I think the contrast, uh, the dark, the darkness of the uh, line is not uh, enough. So I'll go to another one. Um, oh, by the way, this is this is a monkey stealing the immortality. Peach, a uh, peach of immortality from the palace garden, uh, tended by the uh, queen mother of the west. Um, it says this this peach uh, bloomed uh, for three thousand years and then uh, takes three thousand additional years to mature. So um, there's a long wait, and uh, this. This uh, monkey king become uh, immortal when after he ate the the peach. Okay, this this bottom has that uh, basket. And, uh, I think I have a image with. Okay, here's the one. Yeah, let me let me do this one. It's a horizontal, and it will make a good birthday card for the loved parents or grandparents, okay. Um, in this case, I'll do the, I will do that uh, basket first, and you can use a soft, I mean, a s uh, soft and stiff combination, or, you know, a good calligraphy brush, like a stiff brush, will also um, help. Let me just use this one, it's a combination brush. So I'll, I'll load the, the brush with a, a little bit of ink first. And you can have a little bit of brown color in it. Well, I got some dirty brown, I just clean that. A little bit. You don't need much. So and you can use a little maybe orange color to get a little warm. And then just pure ink, pure ink. And the brush should not be too wet, but not too dry either. So, so you, it will not last that long if, it, if it's already thirsty. 
and you can uh, it's a little bit split that's okay uh, if you like you can you always design the, the composition and like I said uh, the master master she will always do but my teacher John Lee, uh, he doesn't use a, a template he always uses his fingernail to kind of draw some control draw, draw a little bit control so I, I can see the fingernail mark uh, that's and when I do this I imagine I imagine the the painting in my mind and, you know when you uh, when that image emerge in your, in your mind it's time to, to give a go so uh, you can start from the uh, the handle usually the handle is the darkest but in this version it for some reason he, he didn't start the, I mean, he's to probably start from this front corner I'll do that so I, I'll draw a horizontal line with uh, you know we, we, we don't really paint uh, try to copy. Uh, we we follow the ideas. So the first stroke, I will define the the upper edge of the uh, basket. It's not a a, a a smooth line though. So it's a little bit uh, kind of uh, angled, uh, you know, because it's made of uh, sticks. Imagine that the stick is doesn't come with a smooth. Line so it goes like a, like a. Yeah, that's a difficult part. I I realize maybe we just do a, uh, a straight line like that would be fine. But uh, don't compute in one stroke. So you you kind of make it up with uh, several sticks, the stick basket, right? And then you continue with uh, you can add a little dark, uh, and you can. If something missed, you can double it, you know, to correct. Like a, um, they come in some overlapping, some something like that. Right? It's all okay, um, but not not make it too real. Yeah, the pic picture is a picture. Not you don't really uh, you're not responsible if the basket cannot hold the the fruit. You know. Just like you, you are not an um, architect when you paint a house, you are painting, you are not responsible if the house is going to fall or not, as long as it looks nice. So I'm, I'm doing this uh, uh, triangular shape. It's like a pattern, and it goes a little bit um, varied. In, and maybe it, it has to do with perspective, so a little closer here, a little wider, but don't have to, you know. It's uh, just a, a suggestion of that. And then I use the rest of the, the brush is kind of dry now, uh, and the lighter to do the handle. And the handle can go, it's easier to go from uh, in two strokes. Maybe one stroke goes down like that, and then we'll complete the other hand side. They have to be very sure. This, this stroke must be very calligraphic. Uh, so I have the fingernail. Uh, control line there, but I don't have to follow. That's the good thing. If you outline it with the charcoal, uh, it's uh, you cannot really fill in that blank. And see, I can make frequent stop, but you, c you cannot hesitate. You have to give them, you know a one shot, and then complete the. Leave a gap for the fruit, and you can leave it later. But I, I'll just estimate. Just give it like that. That much. Okay, the fruit it will be in the front of the handle. And uh, so this angle could be a little s straight if if I can if I have a chance to make it up. But that's it. I cannot really change anything. Uh, when it's on on the on the rice paper, it records everything. If you if you try to modify it 100 years from now, your viewer can still tell. Oh, he he faked it. Um, <coughs> he cheated. Yeah. Oh, I can cheat a little bit. Mm, I feel the chi is more co connected with a little bit dark to continue that. Okay. Now I'm going to change the brush to. 
uh, my softer brush again. I use a uh, yellow on the bottom of the brush and uh, uh, some scarlet, uh, some rouge, or, or some uh, karma mix on the, the tip. Okay, notice the tip of the. Um, here you see the yellow cut goes outside. That's not very good. So I, I immediately stop, and I will I wait, dry a little bit to to add. You cannot change that yet. Uh, you can always go back to redefine that edge. And then here is the lower corner of that. And then just filling the center. Oh no, I can do. Uh, you can do a bigger one. Just uh, going to cover that yellow and then a bigger one. So you can leave some white between the strokes, which you see in the master. Uh, there's some bleeding here. That's OK. Um, if you want, avoid that. You wait a little bit and then fill in uh, more color. So I clean the brush a little bit because I got ink in it. Now I go back to yellow. You can add a little bit, a little bit glue. Okay, which is uh, reduce the bleeding, and then a little. Can you, can you see my color blending here? Let me see. Okay, and then there's some rouge on the tip, and this one is uh, more pointed. It's like a uh, you know some some peach like this, very sharp, an edge. So. I want to make a, a higher than the, the previous one. And they, uh, as we talked in the first class, we have two pitches. You don't want to make them turn away from each other. So they, uh, so this one uh, is linked. Uh, the second one linked to the first one. That creates some uh, intimacy uh, between the two. Okay. I want to fill in that branch, so it's really that's yeah. You know, if we don't have the different size here, you know, like this and this, I cannot really imagine the peach could be different in the on the same you know for the same price, the same on the same shelf, same kind of peach, right? But I I did get them yesterday. Uh, so that's, that gave me confidence today to, to do this pitches in, in, so, uh, in one big and one, one small, one big pitch and one small. And some, some dry stroke is OK. Yeah, the over, overall shape must be good. You can make uh, the the uh, two half more clear if you want in the dark against light. But you don't have to uh, really depict anything. It, it, yeah, I think when you paint a pair of a longevity peach, maybe it's a good idea not to vary the size so much. Uh, they usually vary the shape one. Like uh, here, one fat, one a little thinner or something, but not very the size, like uh, too much. I think this one's really a little bit over. Anyway, um, make this part maybe a little bit bigger. Okay. Okay. Forget about it. I'll I'll add some uh, leaves now. Just. Uh, uh, to contrast with the, the red, we can have some uh, green, blue leaves. Green leaf. We can add a little color, I think, to make it. And here it is. One, two, three. And, uh, Is 
some more Euro, I think. white don't fill in all the negative shape if they are nice especially okay um, all right now I'm going to uh, dry a little bit before I draw the veins signature brush it's a liner actually Limbonian liner it's a mix uh, color I uh, mix the hair uh, with a soft hair in the middle and a stiff in outside it's rare uh, we special made for this uh, kind of uh, foreign birds painting as I mentioned earlier this this veins not only uh, are veins also the contour of the leaf and the look is how I do it. So the center vein, not on the, the center, usually along the top, maybe upper line, and then uh, the front is very close to the center vein. Um, you can go outside a little bit like that like this, just drop it, drop it, right, and this one goes up, like that, and just, a little wide gap, just ignore, don't worry, it goes outside, just Mm -hmm. uh, dry, dark, and wet. Right. You can, if you have any suggestion of uh, texture there. And this one could be lighter on the light, on the light, or drier. So uh, the contrast is softer than um, the center, maybe. Usually I put the center near the darker edge, not the... Yeah, I could, you know, copy the original, so my, my center is on the lighter side, but it against the shading rule, I think. Uh, just be more creative here. It doesn't matter, right? but as long as it's not in the middle. You understand? Okay. And the title says it's 3,000 years. Um, you know, three thousand year fruit. You don't have to write that. Doesn't if it doesn't make sense to you, you can write um strong show double longevity like this. You know, strong show. Uh this is still script. You can also write in in uh, handwriting style standard script. Let me do that for you. I really I think the Seal script really makes it more decorative, so you can do that, right? And you can put it on this corner, just like that. Yeah. And then you just copy this Shuang Shou Tu picture of a double longevity peach, a double longevity. This one. 
this is the uh, one part one part and uh, this is the hand so Look at this. I'll just draw the hand and mouth and a, another hand two. This is a this cartoon is a picture. fine I think to make it short because if we don't have room the principle is don't hurt the picture by uh, with the inscription so you can you can just write your name in handwriting style don't have to be the same as the, the title get this uh, additional references from the folder uh, the link is in the chat room I, it's, uh, I did so the fruit is called a uh, sacred uh, sacred lily uh, it's not very common here I think but there's a society of uh, well, these are the birth birthday buns for the elderly Okay, this is the plant. Uh, it's because the name of the plant uh, is this ten thousand year green, or uh, young. Uh, ten thousand year. This is a good name because um, a ten thousand year green uh, translates into Chinese into English as evergreen. But if you use Chinese initial uh, you know, of the two words, evergreen and peach, it will become one show. Show top. One in Qing Shou Tao, one Shou means uh, long life, long live. Okay, that's the fruit, the berry of the plant, sacred. Japanese uh, like it, they've got uh, a society of that, they have developed uh, uh, more than 10,000 species, subspecies of the uh, English family. So uh, they, they have a magazine, a book, um, and they got or uh, variegated, very variegated uh, leaf, you know, like this magazine. Oh, the Japanese name for this plant is uh, Omoto, O M O T O, as you see here. The Chinese name is Wan Nian Qing. Japanese call it Omoto. I think this is a Japanese name too. Oh, that's the pronunciation of Japanese. Kanji, o moto, o moto, okay, o moto, sacred lily. And that's what we did. Um, let's see, example of, uh, okay, here's example by Master Qi Bai Shi. Um, he did this uh, alone without a pitch. Maybe we can do this without the pitch if you want. Okay. Oops. 
if you do one peach, uh, it's good to add some, you know, uh, just like uh, Lady. Uh, let me let me just copy that composition. I think we should do Lady Gore's uh, composition for Chairman Ma. So if you do one peach and plus the uh, Lily, will will make a complete uh, balance uh, picture, right? Um, let's see. Some uh, yellow, some peach sap, and some a uh, lot of, lot of red, a lot of red, and we can add the darkest uh, red later if you want, or you can uh, do it first. I think he, he probably did the first, like uh, his teacher does. So we'll just do this peach on this corner uh, at the golden spot, of course, and uh, with this tip to start with and then uh, don't have to be the center as we mentioned so you don't have to copy exactly and I do one large half first right and you know some artists like to leave a little highlight and uh, she has this in more in the middle that's okay uh, you can fill in with yellow but you can also just leave it uh, there uh, with white. You don't have to depict anything. It just come out naturally like that. It's like a highlight. Okay, now the second stroke, I'll reload a little bit because this really takes a lot of juice to make it juicy. A lot of water to make it juicy. Okay, now the, the other half, I, I, I want to use dark against the light add some interest like that. Yeah. You can leave the bottom uh, void like she did. Uh, I think it's good. But uh, if uh, you miss the you know that's okay you, you can you cannot go back to erase anything. Right? So um, it says we're going to do a large plant on the other corner so I'll just uh, Leave it uh, like this. Okay. And sometimes I want it to smear a little bit <laughs> like that, and so it looks more juicy. But don't lose control. Okay. okay. Just a little bit smearing. And if you want to stop uh, using uh, tissue to stop it. But sometimes, if it blood too much, it might make it dry, look, looking uh, dry. <coughs> but, you know, peach has this kind of uh, um, this uh, rough surface with the uh, hair, kind of little little powder, see, white powder. That that's good to add a little white to the yellow. You know, I got yellow from. Um, uh, an opaque yellow called the uh, Naples yellow. It has white in it already, so it has a little bit opaque. It gave me that kind of feel. And then now I'm going to draw uh, the leaf. I think she used the uh, indigo with an ink as a base and then uh, dark. So indigo. And you can use a little bit ink. Okay. I try to avoid uh, a dark stripe in the uh, in the color. Just blend a little bit. It's good. Okay. Now the leaf. Very uh, overlapped. So just uh, like that. Two and then three goes. A little bit. You can overlap that. <laughs> and um, you can use a stiff brush, the brush you're going to use for the, <coughs> for the vein to draw the 
the branch. But this one, it looks like a cut branch, so you don't have to pin outside the frame. Although she did, I think uh, we we'll just follow that. It, it's always give more life if you feel the, the the fruit is still on the tree or the branch. You know, when they sell trees in the market, they always, uh, I mean, fruit in the market, they also always uh, show you the freshness with a, a leaf, right? And it, the leaf is shows the freshness of the fruit. So this is dry and dark contrast with the fruit, uh, wet and, and uh, light. Okay. And then now I'm going to draw the, the veins in what you learned earlier with a dry brush, with dark ink, stiff brush, okay. and uh, the center is not in the center, it's maybe a little closer to the top, and uh, now that you can go outside a little bit, like that, and then the other one smaller. Uh, don't have to be in the same direction, I think. So we can just go straight forward, connected to the, the other group in the front. Right? And uh, I see something like, s like a little leaf stem sticking out. It's not the there, um, there's something there, maybe. But as I said, there's no long, long stand uh, for the peach. So we don't need to pin a long stand. But it, it, you, can something, you can have something to suggest there. And see, if I, you know, I, I don't really follow the leaf. leaf. Yeah, I can, my leaf just go going, uh, I mean the veins, it's going by itself, see. That's that's how interesting it, it, it will be. And see, this one goes up, and you can make it bend, or you can change directions if you want. Um, but I, I think it's good to go up instead of go down, so because we have something up there, so that direct your eye moving up. Okay, I'm going to do this. Uh, we can vary the shape of, I mean, the color of the leaf uh, with a little bit more. Uh, I can add a little, oops, yeah. opaque, opaque um, green and uh, yellow. Let's see. Yellow is dry. Oh, got the yellow here. the um, green, the opaque green alone because it's very chalky if you use that to without uh, transparent colors. So we mix them with yellow and some indigo. So okay. Evergreen. Evergreen. Some part is still uh, darker than, than I just want to get a little bit transitional color so it goes to this one. And uh, I, it looked like she did uh, from top down um, that just vary this, this stroke. And, uh, so it goes from here to here. It's uh, almost like the um, if you look at uh, the uh, Paralopsis uh, orchid behind me, it's almost the same kind of uh, leaf. 
very flat, but the, the bottom has to be very tight, right? The root pointing to the root, the root. Okay, and this could be a little wider. So I add a little color variation to that. You can do it in two strokes. Like that's a very typical kind of Lisa style stroke. And uh, you can use a little more dark here to do this bending leaf. Oops! Um, I should vary the, the highest. This should be a little lower, but um, it's okay. I'll just. Make it to higher. In in real life, this leaf could be much higher than the fruit. The fruit is kind of here in the in the uh, lower part of the the plant, in the center. I mean. And we try to make a little hint that the point, you know, the cheek goes like a circle. So this one. And a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to pinch the fruit. First of all, I draw this stem. A little bit like that. Okay. Now I use a smaller brush, just a pure um, scarlet. Maybe the medium. Orange, you can add yellow because when they're young, they are yellow. Normally, we just do pure red in, in the winter time. We put in the on the table um, with the peach, maybe also serve as a sacrifice for ancestors for some reason. I, I maybe if I'm wrong, you. I, I always see peaches also uh, as a s uh, sacrifice for the ancestor altar or just deity peach buns. Um, okay, these are just like a peach, uh, like uh, the cherry blossom, but much smaller, maybe uh, rounded. Some overlap. You, if you if you're good at uh, cherry, already you know it's not very difficult to do that stroke in round shape. You can squeeze in some uh, hidden ones there. Maybe not so so many. I think I did too many. Okay, um, and let's do the veins parallel veins. But you can very a little bit, um, so they're not so stiff, right? Then you can go outside and in. Okay, and some lost and found, some lost and found, but not all like that. Some solid ones, okay? And uh, I do always do the center first, and then I know. Uh, the other are parallel to the center, more or less. So it goes like that, and then some lost and found on the edge, maybe. And some overlapping. Make up a little bit. Oh, there's a root. Um, you can put it in, in, a, in a pot if you want. Let me think about that. If I need to change the root, I'll just uh, leave it. Okay. Chinash's uh, style it emphasizes on tip concealed stroke. So this is stroke 
can stop with, uh, at any time without a, um, a doubt or pass because every part is a, is solid and a pass because he can stop at any point. Um, oh, there's a little dot on the fruit. Um, Oops. It dries so fast here the ink gets dry. Don't have to do that. Oh, just a suggestion. Um, yeah, I'm going to copy the root as well. I, I, although I think the root, oh uh, yeah, it, it is like an onion shape, maybe a, a uh, uh, onion shape, right? But the root, the root is also like an orchid when they grow out. So let's just do an onion shape for, let me just make up the, I'm just using the red and the blue or green or red, uh, yellow or something. Some some uh, little a suggestion of roots. You can use a little ink. You can not overdo that. Okay. And uh, let's look. What else? You can dot this dot the peach with a little uh, sun burn. Spots, if you like, with a, with a carmine. If it's still damp, yeah, you can do that. Just to make it uh, uh, interesting. And do. Uh, texture. Well, that's time. It's time to write. Um, I think one. So yeah, my teacher uh, Zhang Zhengyin <coughs> made this thing similar to to the one I'm uh, here with the uh, Navy uh, Corps and. Uh, but he yeah, he he inscribed uh, with uh, this uh, uh, two character which borrowed from the initial of uh, this plant one yin qi one one yin qi is one uh, means uh, ten thousand and the uh, uh, tao longevity pitch longevity so so uh, one shou means uh, multiple or uh, actually thousands of uh, longevity so you can tend to double so uh, multiple so uh, here is uh, one so means uh, long live. Uh, it used to be exclusive to the emperor, or the you know the the uh, semi god <laughs> leader, <laughs> immortal. <laughs> like it's if, if you wish someone immortal, you say one should one should for for leaders, the Chinese leaders, they they, they they use that, but not uh, today anymore. Mao was probably the last person received this this uh, greeting, uh, this uh, kind of uh, one so. Okay, but one so is different than one so. Okay, one so could be a uh, birthday wish. Still, I think it's uh, used on Amper's uh, um, 
like a parsley ball or something anywhere. Why so in Jiang? Meaning uh, 10,000 year longevity without a limit. That's the same one. So, you know, the it's from it's a shortcut of Wan Shou Wu Jiang or longevity without a limit. Wan Shou. Okay. And uh, signature. And he, he write Zhen uh, Ying Xie because in, in painting, in Chinese brush painting, we don't use the word paint or created or you, know, you can use those. But uh, for literati, for literati painters, like my teacher, he, he used the word uh, xie, wrote. The painting is wrote. It's like your signature. The whole painting is your signature, like uh, wrote, you wrote, yeah. Oops! I copied his uh, his signature there. <laughs> I'm I'm last thinking. Uh, um. Okay. I have to make it up. So this is my teacher's name. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. My wife saved me. So I'll I'll write. Uh, um. <laughs> I'll just it. Jane's student, because uh, for uh, Guo Xiu Yi, uh, the master Qi's student, she writes uh, Bai Shi Di Zi, meaning Bai Shi's student or Bai Shi's uh, disciple. So I, I, I can call himself, uh, myself, uh, Zhen Ying Di Zi, so the, the disciple of Zhang Zhen Ying, Zhen Ying, Zhen Ying Di Zi. So that that will be my uh, my uh, uh, one of my uh, suiting right? <laughs> from now on, and then I my uh, my my own name. It's like here. Okay. Thank you, Victoria. <laughs> yeah, so you, you don't have to copy this. <coughs> you can write Henry student, <laughs> if you will. Just joking. <laughs> In the future, <laughs> when you're good enough. <laughs> If you're a lady, you can write Nu Deeds. That's uh, what uh, Chibashi calls uh, uh, Madame uh, Guo, uh, Nu Deeds, uh, female student or lady student. Yeah. Okay, so um, that completes uh, today's lecture. I, uh, I still have 15 minutes. If you want to uh, see more, I can do another quickie, or you can uh, show me your work, and then we can uh, and do some question and answer. Yong Le, uh, are you going to leave soon? Are you still there? Yong Le is, is has a meeting I know today, so someone else will be helping me closing the uh, meeting. Uh, yeah. You know, left already. Oh, she left already. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so you guys can stay, right? So, yeah. If we, if we like, we have more than ten minutes. And let me see what we can do. What about this uh, green peach on the tree from my teacher? I think. Where's that? Um, oh, we did the tree. Already, right? With the first one we did was uh, was almost like that. So it's it's red, and then we did the um, we did the basket one. 
basket one. And then now let me see what we can do. Yeah, here is the, the plant. The plant. Let me see. This is the basket. Double the monkey. You don't want to do the monkey, don't you? <laughs> monkey. Uh, this is the green peach. We said. <coughs> okay, I'll do this one to honor my teacher since I uh, I can use the title again. Genuine student officially. And he writes the title Duo Shou, meaning um, double or more longevity. Okay. So in this case, um, we use ink on the branches and the leaf, and then we use the color for the fruit. Very simple, right? Uh, you can use a little bit color if you like uh, for the leaf, but uh, I'll just ke I'll, I'll keep it simple. So we we use. Uh, Green. You can add a little bit color, you know, if it's some leftover green, leftover yellow, or leftover indigo would be fine. Um, just a gray with a little, a little, little, little color it should be fine. Let me add a little ink there. So just one drop of the ink for the veins to come. So I'm going to, uh, you can, you can load the tip of the brush with darker, with a little darker ink. Yeah. And uh, uh, he would do the, f the leaves first. Again, you need to use your fingernail to plan your composition. So it's a diagonal composition. The starting of uh, the chunk is on number four. I think one, two, three, four, yeah. And, uh, then it, one branch goes up uh, to to number eight, five, six, seven, eight. He he numbered them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's very easy to remember. Avoid the middle. Avoid the middle. So they're it divided. If you draw a cross in the middle, it, it divides into four sections and the, and the four uh, eight si eight eight uh, positions to start off a branch of anything. Um, so look at the dark, the darkest dark is uh, on the, uh, maybe in the middle here is fine, I think, but uh, it's it's interesting. He's probably started from the top the, with the small leaves. That's, uh, let me think, if that's the case, we keep it small, right? So just the one, you can go outside to suggest, uh, to hide the, to, to suggest the leaf, uh, the branches coming from the outside. And you can do it like a side view, foreshortened view or something, wh whatever, like that. <coughs> That's it. And uh, you can do a little dark to, to do this group, which is in front of some the fruit. Some leaves in the front. So you have to do it first, right? And uh, do another three, like like a pink bamboo leaves. It will look like exactly like bamboo when I finish this part. You will see. One. But it's longer, not as long as the willow trees. Not as long as the willow trees, or narrow as the willow trees. Uh, but not as sharp as the um, bamboo. Okay, but you, you need to go all the directions, maybe a little bit, and you know, in, so a little looser than bamboo, it's, it's okay. And then do a bending leaf on top that, that goes up and down, and then uh, some small leaves, another long one. Like, okay, do a little, little, little bit just to. Uh, this last last one could be added to define the the peach, but since we we copy, we can do it to, uh, right now. But uh, he probably did it as as the, at the time he did the the stem, you know, the, like the, the stem. That's that's okay. So we can just uh, uh, use the ink brush, maybe dry a little bit to do the the stem. So it goes like that. It has to be a little thicker than this. Because otherwise, 
it cannot sustain the, the weight, so it has to be a little woody. And uh, uh, it's not like grass, like a peony or other plant, it has to be a little woody. And uh, try to think about the wood, woody quality of that. Okay, and uh, let me draw that. So, and it go goes outside the frame, right? It's dark for the front, and uh, uh, the two peach could come from different branches, but that's okay. I think uh, we don't have to, but you can draw a little line like that just in case we need. Okay, now the, the branch um, should be much lighter for the uh, trunk. However, we don't do that now. Uh, we do the peach. It goes from front to middle and then back. So you don't have to void the, the fruit, right? And uh, I'll just use green with a little bit yellow left over here. Okay, green, whitish yellow, which has uh, some, some uh, quash or white in it. <coughs> um, he, he did uh, the green first, I believe. So we just draw a rectangular shape. Maybe two rectangular, one large and small. Uh, just like that. Leave a little uh, space for the, uh, the red part. And then this one, it's, it should be behind, partially behind. So that's the red. But it's bigger, huh? Hmm. Maybe I was wrong, so... Yeah, we, we, we can make this one in the front, because uh, this one is dark. Huh? Okay, let me just... Uh, Add a little bit. Okay. <coughs> now I, I save that brush just in case I need, and I go back to a clean brush to do the peach color. I just use carmine, a little bit carmine, and you can add a little glue. My secret today for you is the peach sap glue. You can use any other glue. You can use uh, water soluble. Of this group, and you know, just dilute with it. Maybe just for the time being, you can use any any sticky thing to control the the bleeding. We dilute, we dilute the uh, color to make it pink. You add to it. Okay. Now I use a little darker. So it there's a gradation. Uh, you can blot it. Otherwise, it would bleed too much. Okay. But before it gets dry, you have to do this. Just add the maturing tip. Okay. Like a hard shape. And at first you can you can keep the brush straight. Uh, and then you press Okay, one large, um, so the red on this side is also larger, and the one small and the lower, right? And uh, if you feel it's too wet, you don't have to complete it. You can go back later. Okay, a little bit lighter, a little lighter, yeah. On this one, um, this split is. It's a little longer, this will vary a little bit. Um, there is another way doing this. Uh, just put the red in between of the two sides. That's it. Yeah, just keep it simple, you know, just one, one, one stroke. And we may expand a little bit, just this hint of that. Because it's just getting mature, then this one is much, uh, much 
sure. So they're not the same. You can vary it. In, 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 yeah, just in any case, you know, vary the size, the intensity, or, or uh, the shape, just make it uh, more interesting. Don't repeat exactly the same thing. Um, and then you can use a little try, stroke, maybe just add a little dot. Just add a little spot to disperse a little bit. Concentration and uh, disperse how it works. I think it long it does. But very light. If you do it uh, too too dark, it will be. Uh, yeah, actually, he did something more mm, mm, darker, but not too dark. Not too dark. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to do the veins again. So if you do it good today, you can do any leaves in future um, class in future class good so this is the the, the tip you draw a center first but not in the middle exactly maybe this one is front view so it could be you can draw but still you see the tip is there but I change a little bit that and extend it a little bit I modify the shape of the the original uh, stroke a little bit and then I, uh, he does this a little different than Master Qi. So you don't have to wrap all the way the, the contour. You can wrap a little bit, but you know, not, not straight like the comb. Uh, here's the Zhang Zhang Jin style. It's uh, my, my teacher's style. It's like this. So instead of Like that, it curve a little bit, but not to the extent like a master. Henry, mm -hmm. hello. Yeah. Hi, we have a question. Yeah. Can the peach sap be used again once you have already mixed it with water? If yes, how do you store it? Peach sap uh, refrigerate. Okay, so it can be mixed again. I mean, yeah, it can yeah. be used again. Oh, you you can you can yeah you can save it in the refrigerator in a bottle. Uh, it will last forever. If okay. you put it even, even if you already mixed it with the water, that's oh okay. yeah yeah yeah. That's what I uh, I used to do. I keep it in the water. Um, okay. But nowadays I just put it uh, as a color on the palette, um, like uh, like here. You know, I just keep it like a like a little bit. Um, so you can yeah you you can you can mix it uh, in a bottle and I use a drop a bottle with a dropper. Like those uh, health uh, products, uh, liquid, you know, bottled with a, a little squeeze uh, eyedropper, something like that. It's, it's, it's easier to use. You have some compliments over here too. Spectacular brush strokes. Thank you so much, Henry. Okay. I enjoy your classes so much. Thank you. You don't have to read this. <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Um, um, okay, so this part, um, like uh, this leaves are not defined because the, the ink is so light. It's okay. You don't have to. The first, the, the point is, the first uh, layer is always like a wash. You know, the definition is uh, uh, given here, and you can you can divide the stroke into two. You can you can do it uh, differently than uh, what you. Plant even so some stroke will stick out. I think that's okay. So you don't have to stay within the, the uh, boundary boundary of the, the original shape. And just yeah, you can go out a little bit, but don't. Uh, and and a tendency is like uh, when I say you can go out, the every leaf will be. Uh, like that, it will make it look like a very drafty. That's not good. Okay, so don't don't make uh, the point is um, variety in unity. But, uh, not if you if you make uh, all the leaves to look like uh, you know going out of the 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 color, it, it, it's it's another kind of unity, right? You want to vary. So some stay inside. Most of them stay inside. 
in some literally you know like this stroke is not big enough that's why you see uh, my teacher also does this so he, instead of he you, you you enlarge this shape to complete that shape you don't have to you just use line combined to, to uh, finish that okay so that that's the um, and you do only half. See, I, I only do the, the half part. It's not good to repeat. Don't repeat. <laughs> but uh, I, I try to to fix something. The middle line is a little thicker than the secondary line. If you pay close attention. Okay. Now the last minute. Oh, I already passed the time. I'm sorry. Um, I try to finish in one minute. Okay. So I use dry brush again. Uh, with only ink, let me see which is the brush I used. Try to find that brush. You can use some gray. You know, it's okay to have some 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 brown in it, uh, some uh, warm to make it warmer. Some, uh, some uh, yeah, brown or red color. In it. But basically, you just need a, a light light ink, and uh, uh, the peach. Branch is different than um, than pine. The pine has this kind of uh, scale, right? It it rounded. The peach doesn't have that. So peach is basically um, f f uh, quite smooth with a little horizontal horizontal wrinkles. Same with the cherry blossom. Uh, that's my teacher's uh, teaching. The cherry blossom or the peach blossom has this uh, horizontal. Uh, let me show you. So you don't have to do the the uh, wrinkle. You just draw um, the outline first. Okay. You can make frequent stops just to make sure where it's split. And then uh, let me see. There is a angular slip split. And another angle goes outside. It goes inside. So I you know I'm more concerned with composition than branches. Still I want to make sure I avoid the center. Don't introduce the branch from the center. Do it from here. And uh, now you can avoid the hard cut because this one is behind. And uh, you see I push the brush here. It's called plowing. Like uh, the brush tip is in front, so that that gives you a rough line. So you you can push the brush this way, and then you push all the way here, and then um, another finish. You can have some kind of knot, knot you know, like that. So dry dry brush. You can dry the brush, and then just kind of kick from the side to the center, leave this uh, middle uh, white to give it a little bit uh, like a shading kind of effect. But uh, you can also use a little darker ink like he did uh, on this. You can put uh, some dots. If, it, if it's too smooth, you can use dots. They're called moss dots. M-O-S-S, -S, moss dots. Yeah. It's a very useful concept. Um, so horizontal s strokes for the wrinkle of a uh, peach. Uh, okay, you don't have to do that. You don't have to outline the branches. See, I did the branches all in one stroke, right? Like she actually does. If you do um, all the outline only, you know, with the elaborated style, it's called fine line style. But uh, with the uh, uh, this is, this is style is is known as a less or little xie um, yi or spontaneous style xiao xie yi little or less uh, free style freehand style qi bai shi's style is called uh, uh, large large or great great xie yi which is uh, more uh, Freer, but not exactly. You know, he used a template still, but just different. Uh, this is more realistic, 
that that is more um, decorative, uh, calligraphic, whatever you you, you may say. Okay, thanks for for your time. I forgot time, uh, so let me sign it. Okay, I'll let you go in a minute. Um, you can sign. I just followed the template, and there's. Let me see. What's that? There's a dot. It looks like a bark or something. A uh, mass dots, I think. You can sign at the bottom. Yeah. If you sign English, you can do that. Right on this corner, I think. I think I'm going to do it on this corner because uh, I can put a seal, a mood seal or something on that corner. Because um, I feel this is a little empty here. So let me just write my new title. So instead of, I say, mimic or homage to Jane, I just call myself student of uh, my teacher. Right? I'm still debating if I do this exactly on this side. Then I have to use a corner seal here. That can also do. If you use a large square corner seal, not on both ends, but uh, yeah, that, that would probably... Okay, let's do this. I'm sorry. Henry, someone asked, have you studied um, Ling, Lingyan style? Lingyan style? Yes, uh, I have class on that. Um, I have I have classes on uh, Lunar style, but uh, Lunar style is t uh, influenced uh, more um, strongly by Western watercolor. Um, it's uh, too, you know, if you if you paint with too much color, it loses the elegancy. It becomes uh, vulgar, vulgar, right? Vulgar. So it, it to be cautious with that. Um, I, I do have in uh, I had a lesson in before summer was a spring on um, a landscape in the United master we did uh, the uh, great can great canyon right canyon that's the United school style and uh, I would I'll have a class on on zoom which is a paid class on uh, October 26. I believe you can check our website for the uh, style peony. If you're interested, you can sign up to that class. It's twenty dollar. I'm sorry to advertise, but uh, I do teach in that style. I do have a coming workshop on that for peony. Um, so I just copied my teacher's name, as you see there. Then Okay, the student of Jane. Okay, the Xiao Chinese name last name comes first. And this is my last name. Okay. And the seal. Uh, we we need a, <coughs> a corner seal for for this thing. seal which says uh, blessing um, or best wish from uh, um, from uh, son or grandson Chids. I don't know how to translate this children from children from uh, usually it's a, it's a uh, I, I, I have this seal from a, a, a classmate many years ago to celebrate the 
national anniversary of China. <laughs> so, so it's a patriotic uh, seal, but it could be used uh, for others, you know, like uh, for the ancestors, uh, for o uh, elderly parents or grandparents' birthdays. This, this phrase, this, this seal could be used. Oops. Just a good wish from from uh, children, from uh, kids. Like uh, this, this is kids, uh, kids. Um, uh, because when we are young, we think we are the children of the motherland. <laughs> you know, that's uh, the uh, we. Yeah, I think that's uh, and also on this side, uh, the same student uh, that you know, my my college uh, classmate carved um, another phrase which was uh, actually good for um, that gen our generation because we're crossing the centuries so uh, this was done in the 1980s and um, early 80s I think yeah this says 21st century generation now it's uh, already 20th century <laughs> uh, we, I think yeah you can still use it I think yeah 20 so before 20 21st century, we already call ourselves 20 cent 21st century generation of Ren people. Man, um, that's a mood seal. Both are mood seal. So um, that's it for today. Um, if you want to. Your picture against your face, and uh, we'll take a screenshot uh, for for the record. Um, let me see. We'll do a gallery view here. That gallery view. Okay. And uh, yeah, just uh, I call. I will count one, two, three, and then you. Oh, you only take over. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can. You can. Uh, Hold your oh, picture so against the, in front of your Everybody face. Everybody did a good job. And yeah. we'll, we'll make a, a picture. One, two, three. Okay, great. And we'll do another one. Okay, so page two. One, two, three. I know there's somebody uh, and not to have any uh, videos. Okay, so. Nobody on page three. Well, we have a lot of pa participants today. I'm very glad <laughs> you all come for this uh, special uh, subject matter. So I hope you enjoyed it. It looked like uh, everybody did a wonderful picture. I, I see a lot of nice colors uh, going there. So yeah, we don't have time to uh, give you critique uh, uh, in the class this time, but uh, I think I'm very uh, happy to see the overall um, impression with the overall impression. Um, so I wish you. Henry, yeah. Henry, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I just come back uh, from finishing the other meeting. Uh, I see an, a chat a question. Okay. I believe you were talking about using the peach gel. Yeah. To make blue, right? Yeah. And yeah. what function is it? That was the question. Um, oh, from the, the function Galaxy is to, uh, to control the bleeding. Uh, let me let me do an experiment. Uh, like here, uh, it, 
there's is less or no pitch set. So you you let me show you the. Okay, you can see it, right? Um, so if you, you don't have speech self, you will, you will bleed like that. If you have speech self, it will give you a um, hard edge. You understand? Right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do not have a place to upload uh, pictures. However, please send uh, your paintings to me by emailing. I will be able to forward that to the funder. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we are over time today. Thank you very much, Henry. Thank, Thank you, everyone, you. for participating. And uh, this Thursday, we are giving away large sheets of art paper at the uh, Diker Library. If you are interested, please register. I put in that uh, link uh, on the chat before. Um, we will be meeting next week again using the same Zoom ID. I will send an email uh, when I get the handout the information from Henry for next week. So have uh, fun, a lot of fun painting, and uh, wish every one of you and your loved <laughs> yeah. ones. Yeah. Just like See you next time, good job, everybody. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye now. Thank you. Bye -bye, everybody Thank you so much for everybody. See you next week. Bye-bye.